Local governments insist that citizens contact them directly to report any road problems or infrastructure issues, but that can be frustrating if you don't know exactly who has jurisdiction and where you should express your concern. Cardio 13's Scott Harrison, the road warrior, is in Pueblo showing us three recent examples and the results of how they've turned out. We got involved in investigating the crumbling conditions on and around this frontage road along Highway 50 in East Pueblo after a viewer told us she was tired of seeing it. But she didn't know where to file a complaint because she wasn't sure if this is city, county, or state jurisdiction. We checked and found that CDOT is responsible for filling the potholes, fixing the eroding drainage culvert, and repairing damage in and around the adjacent parking lot of the Belmont Post Office. The agency plans to make those repairs now that we've made them aware of the situation. Harder to figure out is who's responsible for addressing what causes drivers to scrape their vehicles on the pavement at two driveways outside Catholic Charities in downtown Pueblo. Catholic Charities and City Public Works is determining that. In April, we heard from a resident of South Pueblo County about a guardrail next to a county road near I-25, damaged for so long that it was severely eroding underneath. I've been calling in for about four years, and the explanation that we always got is that no one knows who this belongs to. The county says it's the state, and the state says it's the county because of its location. Last month, Zorowski told us that CDOT went out and repaired the damage. Some road needs are actually on private roads and not on roads maintained by any municipality. That's the case here in the Midway community of El Paso County. Back here at the frontage road along Highway 50, now that CDOT has revealed it is responsible for repairing the crumbling conditions here, many drivers are hoping that will lead business owners at this adjacent shopping center to fill the potholes in their parking lots. In Pueblo, I'm the Road Warrior, Scott Harrison for KRDO 13. Scott, getting answers there for us from Potholes Roadwork Traffic viewer questions. Be sure and send us your traffic and road news tips to Scott Road Warrior at KRDO.com.